Hello everyone and welcome to soundproofguide.com. Now in this video I'll be talking about mass loaded vinyl. Now I I've talked about this product a few times in videos and if you're not too familiar with what mass loaded vinyl actually is, you can watch this video right here. I go through basically any questions that you would have regarding the product, what it is, what it does, is it, is it safe to use and all of that information. So go watch that video before and then just come back and I'll explain to you how to actually install this type of material properly because I do get a lot of questions and people are asking how do I install this and where and because most of the time mass loaded vinyl you won't really be able to see it because hopefully it will be hiding behind drywall. But the thing is, if you don't install it correctly behind the drywall, it makes the effectiveness of the mass loaded vinyl not as good. It will still be quite effective, but there are tricks on how to install this product that will make it a lot more effective and also will prevent your wall from bowing if you don't do a couple of these little tips because if you don't know, you don't know until the job is done and then you look at your wall and it looks like But anyway, that's beside the point. This video will help you prevent that. Now, as I said, usually mass loaded vinyl, you'll install it behind a wall and then you'll have the drywall over it. You can also install it outside. Some people will put it outside on a fence. And if you have issues with a backyard that's not so quiet and you need ways on how to make it quieter, mass loaded vinyl can help with that. And this video right up here can also help you understand how to make your backyard a lot more peaceful. So if you're unsure of what mass loaded vinyl really is, all it is, it's a dense material that resembles rubber. It usually comes in a roll and it's quite thin, but quite heavy. I also have links down below of all of the products I talk about in this video to make it a lot easier for you to find and purchase. Now the easiest and simplest way on how to install the mass loaded vinyl on hopefully an unfinished wall is to staple it right on the joist. Now how you'll do that is hopefully you'll have a second person helping you because a roll of mass loaded vinyl is quite heavy. You'll want to start from the ceiling, moving downward and stapling it directly on the joist, leaving as little gaps as possible. Now the first section of mass loaded vinyl that you'll be installing, I would suggest putting some acoustical caulking right from top to bottom because even though you'll be stapling it right onto the joist, even if your staples are quite close together, it will not be airtight. And what this acoustical caulking will do, it will seal that, it will seal all the gaps so it will leave less openings for noise to pass through. And that is quite important. Now, on your second section and basically every section after that, one thing that you will really want to prevent is overlapping the mass loaded vinyl onto each other. What this will cause, even if it's just a little bit, once everything is done and the drywall is installed, you will find out that there is a bowing happening. And that is why, because of the uneven surface that the two layers of mass loaded vinyl on top of each other has created. So if you do end up overlapping them, just grab your knife and cut it from top to bottom and leave about a quarter inch in between the two pieces and seal both sides with acoustical sealant. And this will prevent, like the first section, any air gaps to let sound through. So that's one important thing. First, of course, is the overlap. Usually people do not really make that mistake, but it can happen. But one thing that a lot of people don't suggest and a lot of people don't do is to add the acoustical sealant. Now, some people might argue that once you have the drywall over top the mass loaded vinyl, it will, it will be pressing on it quite heavily and it will seal that gap. But for the amount of money that a, an acoustical sealant tube cost, everything's already exposed, 
just add the sealant and it will create that seal that you need to prevent sound from going through. Now that all of the mass loaded vinyl is on the wall, you might notice, as I've heard some people mistakenly do, is cover all of the electrical outlets and have almost no idea where they are. Now, of course, you can just go and feel everywhere and you'll eventually find it. But to prevent even having that circumstance, all you need to do is when you see that you're going to go over an electrical outlet, all you need to do is press over top of the electrical outlet with your hand over the mass loaded vinyl and you'll see that around the electrical outlet will be a white line on the mass loaded vinyl where you pressed on it. And then you just grab your knife once everything is done and you cut exactly where that white line is and you'll find out that that's exactly where your outlet is and that there's no problem. So now that the entire wall is covered with mass loaded vinyl, it's not a bad idea to cover those holes that are in the electrical box with something called putty pad. Now putty pad are typically used for fire prevention. If there's a fire that starts in the electrical box, in the electrical outlet, the putty pad will help prevent the fire from spreading. But another thing that putty pads do quite well is to stop noise because all of these holes that are in the electrical box in the little metal box are now completely covered. So for a few extra dollars more, if you're already going to buy rolls of mass loaded vinyl to cover and to seal the wall as best as you can, really think about sealing the holes in the electrical box because you might be surprised as to just how much noise are actually coming through that box. And for the cost of putty pads, it's not that much to add onto your budget. So now that the mass loaded vinyl is complete, really all that's left is to install the drywall. Now, it's quite important that you go with at least the 5 8 inch drywall because usually in a house you'll have half inch drywall and it just doesn't work as good at stopping noise as 5 8 inch. Of course, 5 8 inch is a little bit thicker, but for the amount of money, the difference in price between the half inch and the 5 8 inch, it is worth it. Especially if you have a small budget and you only have one wall to do, then just put the 5 8 inch drywall and it will help tremendously. So now that your mass loaded vinyl is on the wall, you have your electrical outlets completely sealed and you have 5 8 inch drywall on the wall, you will definitely notice a big difference in noise transmission from room to room or from room to the outside. And if you want more suggestions on how to soundproof a wall, video right up here will give you a few more suggestions on how to soundproof a wall for different types of budgets. So make sure to go watch that video. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And also by leaving a comment, it really helps any YouTubers try to get out there because it gives a signal to Google to push our channel out into YouTube. Feel free to take a look at many of our other YouTube videos and also some of our articles on our website, soundproofguide.com. Don't forget to click the like button if you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next video or any other videos in our channel.